guys, welcome to Nene's Prepping Kitchen. Um, lately, I've been going into the grocery store and let me tell you, trying to find brown sugar and powdered sugar has been um, kind of difficult lately, to tell you the truth. Um, and if I can find it, it's the more expensive kind, of course. Um, and so, you know, we can make brown sugar if uh, we have this right here, molasses. And this has also been kind of hard to find in my area. Now, I got this one here a while back, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago probably, and uh, it was the only one there. And uh, yesterday when I went, they had one way, way, way back on the shelf. And I actually, uh, there was a Walmart employee there, an older gentleman that actually, um, he had a hook type thing and he, he finagles it out of there for me. So I have another one, which I was very happy about. And um, I offered to buy the old, or not to buy it, but to make the old man some molasses cookies. Forget me that, but he said no. But either way, um, if you have some molasses and some white sugar, we can make our own brown sugar and we don't have to worry about being able to find it at the grocery store or paying a lot higher price for it because uh, making it um, ourselves, I haven't figured out how much it would be you know, but um, I I'm saying it's quite a bit cheaper and probably a lot tastier as well. And you can make light or dark, either one. So um, I'm going to be making some homemade brown sugar and I think probably some uh, powdered sugar as well. And I picked up, let me turn the camera, I think you can see them. I went to a thrift store and I picked up this little guy here. It's one of these kind. So I'll pipe up my brown sugar in that. And I picked up this one here also, which has got a nice uh, sealed top to it. But I thought powdered sugar would be really pretty in that one. So, and those were like $2.25 each. So, hey, not a bad deal, you know at your local thrift store if you need things to uh, hold your stuff that you want to hold in containers, you know, like that. So, anyway, I'm going to get the camera aimed over here and we will get started. I have here just my uh, electric blender and I need to actually grab some sugar. So, we'll be using sugar white sugar and I need to grab a measuring cup which I didn't grab I'll be right back got it <laughs> I thought I had everything out that I needed but you know so uh, to make this all we're going to need is now if you want to make one cup of brown sugar uh, we're going to dump in one cup of white sugar into that and two tablespoons of the molasses. Now if you want to make more of it at a time all you do is double that up. One. <laughs> Might have got that one a little over full. That's fine don't have to be perfect. We can say if you want to add more and make it darker, you know, instead of adding two tablespoons of the uh, molasses, add four tablespoons. So, <laughs> and then you will have dark. So now we're just going to turn this on. And 
every once in a while you might want to take your uh, spatula and just get in there and kind of mix it around a little bit. We'll go another round there. I'm not a mixer. <laughs> you can do it, girl. Okay, I'm going to go in here and uh, mix it together again. Just kind of go around the sides of it a little bit. We're just uh, getting it all incorporated pretty much. So we'll go another round here. Come on. <laughs> I'll shut it off so it doesn't annoy you to death. Okay, I am going to take it out. And there we have some brown sugar. So now all I have to do with that is get it put in to this container. And if I want to make more, you know, I can make more. Which I probably will, because I already have everything out. You know, <laughs> I'll probably go ahead and uh, make me another batch of it. So, like I say, we could have started out with, um, you know, doubling up with two cups of sugar and four tablespoons of um, the uh, molasses. But there is brown sugar, guys. Homemade brown sugar from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and make another batch, and uh, then we will make homemade powdered sugar. So make sure you stay tuned, hit that like, and subscribe. I decided if I'm going to make more, I might as well make more. So I'm actually, I put two cups of the white sugar in here, granulated sugar, whatever you call it, <coughs> and four, uh, four tablespoons of the molasses. So, working on some more here. Get that off my spoon and into the blender and get to making some more here. I gotta get that on. Okay, guys. I ended up taking the uh, mixture out of the blender because it seemed like it was really struggling. Um, and I didn't want to burn up my blender. So I ended up putting it in a bowl and uh, mixed a lot of it up actually by hand. <laughs> So, you know, maybe doing it by hand, <laughs> get your hands in there, um, it might be a better option, you know. It didn't do that when I only did the one cup, but when I tried doing two cups of the sugar and doubling up, yeah, the blender was struggling, so um, you might want to uh, be aware of that. <laughs> and, just use your hands. So, anyway, I'm going to get it put in the container and I'll show you what we ended up with. Okay, guys, this is what I ended up with. Let me tell you, it is tasty too. Mm hmm. That is very good. So, got it in the airtight container. So, now when I need brown sugar, it'll be ready. Now, some people will put piece of bread in there. I have a saltine cracker that will work too to kind of keep some of um, seems like it has a lot of moisture in it so I'm going to put that in there. I'll take it out, out after a while so it don't get too dry. 
But yeah, we have brown sugar. So easy as that. Now, I'll get my mess cleaned up and we'll make some powdered sugar. So make sure to wait along and we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> okay, ready for the white sugar. <laughs> now, oops, that was just the measuring cup. So I'm trying to get the blender where you can see it. I guess, I guess that would work. <laughs> anyway, you'll get the just. Um, and we are going to put a cup of sugar in there. I'm not going to go any more than a cup at a time because my old girl here, she was getting quite the workout. And let me grab my top. I had to wash everything and dry it off because you don't want to put, you know, sugar in if it's damp so I had to get you know the blender tore apart and cleaned up and dried so I got me a cup of sugar in there that's all it takes to make your uh, powdered sugar confectioner sugar so turn the old blender on and let it go until you get uh it turns into powder so I'll let that continue to do its thing, and I'll be back, so you don't have to listen to the blender go. <laughs> it almost looks like smoke coming out there, but it's actually uh, powdered sugar. <laughs> I had to look for a minute, I'm like smelling, to make sure that it wasn't on fire down there. No, but it's actually, actually, um, the powder coming out of the top. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, I'm going to give it a, a little bit of a whiff here with the spatula. <laughs> here we'll do it again. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> uh, it looks like it's smoking, but it's not. It's actually powdered sugar but the way I tell when it's done you know it's uh let's see if I can get it out of there <laughs> right there um kind of get it off the sides you know and uh when you can feel it you know if it still feels a little grainy go ahead and do it a little bit longer not a lot to it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to call that good. I've uh, tested it and... Hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is powdered sugar in there. So I'll go ahead and put it in this container. I'll definitely have to make up some more to uh, fill this one because it's quite a bit bigger. I might go back and see if I can find me a little bit smaller one. Because, yeah, that just put a dent in that one. But I can keep going. Keep uh, doing up some more of the sugar and make powdered sugar out of it. That isn't a problem. I already have everything out here. So, but um, anyway, guys, that is how you make homemade brown sugar and homemade powdered sugar. So... You know, don't fret if you can't find it at the store, um, as long as you can find you some uh, molasses, you can make your own. So, you know, if you see molasses, go ahead and grab it, <laughs> just for that alone. So, anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for everyone for uh, returning and watching my videos. I really appreciate it, guys. Love y'all. Till next time, to God bless.